So this is video three of four of your cybersecurity training. So we're almost complete. Stay with me, guys. If you haven't implemented the tips and tricks that I've uh, outlined in the previous two videos, shame on you. These little steps will significantly reduce your exposure to these cyber threats. Go and revisit the emails and the videos and start to put these tips in action. They're really gonna help you. Right, in this video, we're talking emails. And I bet you didn't know that over 90% of data breaches carried out by cyber criminals within organizations start with an email. That's right, 91%. Email remains one of the primary ways the bad guys use to cause trouble. The malicious emails that cyber criminals use are known as phishing emails. Now, phishing emails are designed to trick you into either infecting your computer or tricking you into giving away your sensitive information. And although your IT department and their security systems and defenses do a great job, in stopping a lot of these emails coming through, some slippery buggers slip through the net. So here's what you've got to do to harden yourself against these phishing emails. Number one, don't open any email, link, or attachment that looks suspicious, even if you think you know who sent it to you. So here's an example. You can see that they're using a broad topic like a parcel delivery. And these types of deliveries happen multiple times a day within a business. And generally speaking, people are excited to receive an unexpected package. This creates intrigue and this intrigue is what makes us want to open the attachment. But whatever you do, don't. And it's not just attachments within emails you gotta watch out for, it's links too. Always look at the destination of the link before clicking on it, just to make sure it correlates with where the email should be taking you to. And you can do that by hovering over the link with your mouse, and typically it either comes up as a pop-up or displays in the bottom left-hand corner, and you can check. Finally, and if you were paying attention in our last video on social engineering, you'll notice the overlap, don't give away any sensitive information such as bank details or passwords via email. Okay, so make sure you master these three things when it comes to email security. And before you go, let me show you an example of how convincing some of these phishing emails can be. So here's a legitimate email request from Google Docs sent to Jennifer Bullock, and you can see that it's been sent from myself, Andy Wall. And you can see the little trick I said in use. I hover over the link and it reveals where it's going. And as you can see, it's going to docs.google.com. So it's going to the right website address. So it appears to be legitimate, and indeed it is. So here's a phishing email that we've produced. You can see it looks identical to the untrained eye. It's been sent from the exact same address as the legitimate email. It's been sent to myself from a chap called Sam Knight. Now I don't know who that is, so immediately alarm bells should be ringing. Sometimes the bad guys can get clever though and pretend to be your IT department or even do research to find out who your CEO is and use that instead. So moving on to the link. Again, we deploy the hover over method before clicking it to view the true destination. This time, however, it's not going to google.com, it's going to fs1.ltd. This one is actually pretty convincing. It says googledocs.fs1.ltd. So you really have to be on your guard before just seeing Google, assuming it's genuine, and clicking on it. So you can see just how easy it is to be tricked into clicking on these malicious links by the bad guys. That's it for this video, so make sure you read our pro tip that's in the email that accompanies this video. And to make sure you carry on checking your links before you click on them. Until next time, stay secure.